Right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your first Imagine Your Story science activity. Today, we're going to be looking at making a sundial. If you have registered via our Read Squared app, and we'll have a link to do so in our description below this video at, at the end of it, you will see where you can get registered because you have to be registered if you want to participate and get these activities mailed to you. Our first activity is a sundial. What you should get in the mail is a little kit that looks a lot like this. You can see that it's got lots of different pieces inside. What you will have, and we'll open this one up, you will have your base. This is gonna be the bottom part of our sundial. You can see there's a little hole in the middle that we will need to poke out. We'll do that with, you will have a paper straw. This is gonna be the gnomon or the standing up part of your sundial. You also will have this little packet that's gonna have all the other little pieces. This little orange circle will be what the gnomon will go in. You can see we have some orange triangles. And then here in the background we have some black numbers and then of course we also have the directions because you know when all else fails read the directions so when you get all those things pulled apart here is my disc that we're going to put here and we're going to use the first thing that we want to do is make sure we have our sun background lined up to where I can see sun rays going straight up and down north and south and some going left to right east to west. This is going to be where we put our most important or we'll say our cardinal times because sundial is used to tell time. And when you poke out your numbers you'll see that the numbers on the back they have this little bit of paper that you can peel off and it's going to be real sticky. This is what you will use to attach your numbers to your sundial. I am not going to do that in this video. I'm just going to place the numbers on there, but you can do it with yours at home to keep them all in place. So I'm going to put my one and my two for my 12 so we can orient this toward north. If you look on a clock face, you may have a clock hanging up at your house. You may see one of the clocks here at the library, or you may even remember one of the clocks you have at school. This is an analog clock. We're going to put all the numbers on the face. Directly below the 12 should be the 6. So you'd put the 6 down there. Between the 12 and the 6, over here on the right-hand side would be our 3. And on the left-hand side would be our 9. So now we've got our most important or cardinal times. Everything else is just filling in the other numbers where they should go. So there is one, two, four, five, seven, eight, ten, and eleven. Now, when you get out all the little orange triangles, these are going to help point you toward your times that you need to have. Each one of these orange triangles is going to go on the inside of one of these little sun rays. And you have enough of these orange triangles that it will go all the way around your clock. And again, these will have the paper on the back that you can peel off and you make your stick. For my example today, I am not going to do that just to help speed us along here. So as we get all of these put around, let me talk to you about how you're going to use your sundial once we get it all together, because we only have two other pieces. The orange piece here, this is what the gnomon's going to go in. You will notice that this one does not have any sticky part. Only the straw will be used to hold this together. There'll be a little orange piece inside of this that you can just poke out with the straw. You do not need that. You can just put the straw into this and then carefully with the straw coming all the way through, you're going to poke it into your sundial. Make sure that it goes all the way through the bottom of your sundial. Now, when you want to use this, take this outside, orient the 12 or the north part toward the direction of north. You can use a GPS app. You can use, if you have a compass, use that out in the yard. You want to have it pointing north. 
Then you just look at the light going across the gnomon and see where the shadow falls. Your shadows will be longer in the morning and the afternoon as the earth turns around in a circle. Around noon, the shadows will be shortest because that's when the sun is most directly overhead. Now, look and see where the shadow falls on your sundial and then you should be able to give a pretty good idea of what the time is. Now, it may be right on with the right time it may be two minutes off. It may be 45 minutes off. It depends on where you put it out in the yard, inside in the sunlight, and where everything is in relation to the sun. Another thing it may you may find is it may be an hour behind. It may not you know, factor in daylight savings time. Now, a question a lot of people will have is, can I use this at night? And the answer is yes. There, it would be a moon dial instead of a sun dial. You can put it out and do the same thing orient the 12 toward north and then find and see where the shadow is just please remember that our moonlight that we see is really just reflective sunlight off of the moon down to the earth the moon itself does not reflect or give off its very own light it does not generate light on its own so i hope you guys really enjoy this sundial activity i hope you guys are really reading and i look forward to seeing you in the next video